What's up, guys? Brent here. Uh, happy Sunday. Went on a four-mile hike with my friends. Um, and then it's not really like a hike in Florida because we don't have hills, but we do have like bridges, <laughs> overpasses. So, um, so I'll show you. I sprinted up this last one, but there's a couple of those. Otherwise, yeah, it's just flat ground. But I did cover four miles of that flat ground with my good friend, uh, good friends. So this is the thing. So you can see it's actually kind of cool view. So and it's a long trail. This goes maybe you can't see that very well, but um, it's just the overpass. But it's a uh, it's a long trail. You can hike all the way, um, you know, several several cities away, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we did four miles of it, and that was a lot of fun. And I really wanted to make this video. Um, well, I'm just going to start off and say that, uh, you know, this is going to be a little graphic <laughs> to a degree, I guess, and I'm pretty much going to talk about uh, experiences that I've had at strip club. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of interesting uh, because I live a stealth life, and, um, and I don't always pack. Um, I actually really don't pack. Uh, although I am thinking about getting an STP, there is one I saw that looks like it's easy to pack with, easy to pee with, um, and I think I might check it out. And the main reason I don't pack is because I'm very active, I don't like wearing a harness, that's just, i just rather not pack than wear that. Uh, I have decent size, to be honest, so um, I do feel it, uh, it is noticeable, and I like that. And I'm just, like, I'm so active, it just moves around, even if I wear, like, boxers. And I could get the boxers, um, I do have a pair of packing boxers that I do use sometimes and pack sometimes. Um, and I could, uh, you know, I could get more of those, but they're just really expensive. So, those, that's why I don't pack. Uh, but anyway, I won't make this video, actually, about the strip club. I'll leave that up to you guys, since you never comment. So, I'll uh, see what you really want to see. Um, if you want me to talk about experiences at the strip club, uh, I'm, in short, I go, you know, it's fun. It's just a fun time for me. Um, and so I've gone a couple, a couple times, and then there was this dancer, usually they got different dancers, and my friend, okay, so my friend works, there's an, there's an adult store right across the street from the strip club. My friend works there. So oftentimes what would happen is I would go and chill with my friend because she'd want me to come and, like, entertain her or whatever at work, you know. Anyway, I'd go and talk to her, and then I'd go over there. Anyway, so, you know, I don't like the ladies, whatever. I mean, I'm not, like, super out there trying, but you know my situation. I made videos on it. So I go to the strip club, and there ends up being this dancer there. And not only is she hot, uh, a very good-looking girl, but, um, like, she's fun to talk to. I like talking to her. So, um... I, you know, I, I don't have to spend a lot of money. It's the same amount of money that I'd spend probably at any club. Uh, so, you know, I just go out and whatever and just chill. They got TVs and stuff there too. And, you know, a lot of the girls were good looking. But anyway, so I started going to the same dancer though. Now I'm not going. School's about to start. So goodbye strip club till December. Uh, but basically it would be, you know, just my experiences with this dancer and, and being stealth and not packing in the strip club. Um, I'm not going to be like super graphic, you know with you, um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's interesting, I guess, I could talk, you know, more, more about the, the social aspect of it, um, so, you know, if you're interested in that, uh, leave your comment down below, um, and yeah, so, uh, plan for school, it is starting tomorrow, so I'm retaking, Two classes for grade forgiveness, and I mean physiology, lecture in the lab. Um, I got to get A's, so I'm going to get A's. And uh, it's going to take a lot of work and focus. So uh, that's where I'm at right now with my school. Um, picking, I picked up another day at work. Uh, trainer actually uh, quit, so I'm working six days a week right now, which is, which is cool. So I assume my boss is trying to hire someone. He's pretty picky about who he hires, and um, there's not... I, you know, I guess there's not a lot of trainers in South Tampa, so it can be a process, but, um, you know, right now I'm working a lot, which is great, and, uh, and I'm just finishing up school, so that's what's going on with that, oh, 
just keep trudging forward. Uh, I really want my exercise science degree. That's the degree I'm going to. Uh, that's the degree I'm going for, and um, you know, we'll see what road takes me there. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to know uh, about my experiences at the club, and um, you know, yeah. All right, I will see you guys when I see you guys. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I was trying to think of like some wise words or something to end this, but uh, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, but I am uh, stopped shaving, so I'm just going to see. I'm going to grow it. It's not as long. I've, I've had a little bit longer before, uh, but it's getting there. So I'm going to grow it longer than I've ever grown it. Um, the stash is uh, really filling in now, so it looks decent to me as long as I keep it trimmed up. That's what I wanted. I really wanted the stash. I don't like, you know, just the big beard. I like the beard and the stash on me. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on with that. I got some beard oil. I think I told you guys that. And uh, all right. Let me know if you want to see it. And if uh, not, um, I don't know. Uh, but if so, I'll make it sometime. Who knows when? Because school is... Whoo! I'm about to be a busy guy. Busy, busy guy. <laughs> all right. See ya.